Good afternoon, my name is Rabih Khabuz. I'm going to summarize Chapter 6, Telecommunications and Network Security from 2013 Sean Harris CSSP All-in-One Exam Guide from page 657 to 694. Covered topics are cloud computing, intranet and extranet, metropolitan area networks, wide area networks, telecommunication evolution, dedicated links, and WAN technologies. Cloud computing is the delivery of computer processing capabilities as a service rather than a product, whereby shared resources, software, and information are provided to the end user as utility. There is a controversy to whether cloud computing helps or hurts security. Offerings are usually bundled as an infrastructure platform or software. Those offerings are not the same. They can be segmented into integration as service or IaaS, platform as a service PaaS, and software as a service SaaS. Infrastructure as a service, within this model, the focus is on managing virtual machine servers where compute resources com complemented by storage and networking capabilities are offered to the customer on demand. The PIS or platform as service, it's the software environment that runs on top of the IT network. The main focus is of this model is on protecting data, especially important in the case of storage as service. SAS, this particular mod model is focused on managing access to applications. For example, policy controls might dictate that a salesperson can only download particular information from sales CRM application. Intranet or ex an extranet. Companies set up internal web based applications for centralized business information such as employee services portal, marketing, uh, engineering, etc. that contain benefits, policies, document repository. These websites are located on the internal network or so-called intranet network. Sometimes the business would like to share information with the vendors, suppliers or customers, so the uh, IT department would provide them with a link to access the same internal information in form of business-to-business -business or B2B web services in XML format, for example, or HTML. And this setup is called Extranet, and its security needs to be maintained properly since it's going through the Internet. Metropolitan Area Networks, or MAN, uh, is a backbone that connects LANs to each other and LANs to WAN or to the Internet or other telecommunication networks. Works. Um, and the most of uh, the majority of today's men are uh, fiber distributed data interface rings uh, or FDDI rings that uh, the data transmission speed up to uh, 100 megabit per second usually a backbone using fiber uh, it can be uh, employed uh, up to 100 uh, kilometer uh, making it suitable for MANs. Uh, there is a second one, Metro Ethernet. This can be used as pure integrated Ethernet with other networking technologies such as in MPLS. <coughs> it is less expensive but less reliable. Uh, and then the, the most common one is this synchronous op optical networks or SONET. It makes up a majority of WANs along with the FDDI. It considered self-healing because the rings are fully redundant. It uses multiplexing and data travels as electronic voltage and is then converted into light to run over optical carrier or OC lines. A service provider uh, commonly uses layer two and three switches to connect optical fibers in form of a ring star uh, or partial mesh topology. Telecommunication evolution. As Harris, the author of this book has mentioned, Telecommunications industry has seen significant improvements since the analog phone systems um, where centralized offices connected individual telephones. Multiplexing technology was discovered after that. Then digital phone systems emerged with T1 trunks to, to carry 24 voice conversation and then a T3 lines. Uh, that carry up to 28 T1 lines. Uh, fiber optics and sonnet network got introduced later on and allowed the reliable high bandwidth data transmission. And last but not least, the ATM over sonnet network. It is commonly used in WAN implementation by carriers. The image on the bottom right represents 
OptiCup converter used to monitor Sonnet ATM backbones. Dedicated links. Uh, they are pre-established for purposes of WAN communication, also called a least line or point-to-point -point links. T carriers, uh, those are dedicated lines that carry voice and data over trunk lines. A T1 can uh, multiplex 24 channels. If called fractional, it means that the T line was chopped up to provide shared bandwidth. And then E carriers, they are similar to T carriers but used by European countries. Um, the author also had mentioned optical carrier, which specifies that the speed of fiber optic networks conform conforming the Sonnet standard. Uh, the table below shows the speeds for some OC uh, uh, levels or uh, optical carrier levels. One protocols and technologies, uh, CSU, DSU, uh, channel service unit, data service unit, uh, used when digital equipment will connect a LAN to one necessary because the signals and frames can vary. CSU using the DSE connects to the network to a telephone company's line and DSU using a DTE converts digital signals from routers, bridges and multiplexers into signals that can be transmitted over the telephone company's digital lines. And next, switching, there are two types of switching. Circuit switching, it can provide dedicated bandwidth to point-to-point -point connections and then packet switching where data is broken into packets. Each sent individually make end-used bandwidth available for other connections, uses uh, quality of service to provide pre precedence to one traffic uh, type over another. And next is frame relay. Frame relay, a WAN protocol that operates at data link layer. It lets multiple companies and networks share the same WAN media. It uses DTE and DSE equipment. The frame relay cloud is a collection of these DCEs service providers that provide switching and data communication functionality. And then virtual circuits, ATM uses virtual circuits where cells transferred between circuits endpoints use the same path. These circuits can be either permanent or switched. The switched virtual circuits are torn down after the connection is terminated. Permanent virtual circuits, on the other hand, remain active. X25 uh, is an older WAN protocol that uses carrier switches to provide connectivity to many networks. Data are divided into 128 bytes and encapsulated in high data link control frames. Next is ATM or asynchronous transfer mode uh, is another switching technology or protocol but instead of being a packet switching method it uses a cell switching method. ATM is a high speed networking technology used to land man one and service provider connections. It is a, a Connection oriented, uh, where virtual circuits can guarantee bandwidth and quality of service, and it is good for voice and video. Uh, the cost is based on bandwidth. In the next list of protocols, we have the SMDS, which uh, multi megabit data service. It connects LANs over WANs, which is um, uh, an obsolete uh, technology. SDLC, synchronous data link control, it is dedicated links with permanent physical circuits, it enables mainframes to communicate with remote offices. HDLC, high level data link control, extends SDLC, also a bit oriented data link protocol used for serial device to device WAN communications. It has high throughput because of its full duplex. PPP or point to point protocol, similar to HDLC, it is a data link protocol that carries out framing and encapsulation for point to point connections. It carries out also several functions, including the encapsulation on, on multi protocol packets. The H HSSI or high speed serial interface used to connect multiplexers to ATM or frame relay. And then, last but not least, voice over IP protocol that uses the frame physical network for both telephone and LAN. And eliminates the need that the need for two cables ran. Next is voice over IP security issues. SIP based signaling suffers from lack of encrypted calls channels and authentication signals. 
and, and the hackers tap would tap to the SIP server client where they sniff out login IDs, passwords, sensitive data, uh, phone numbers, etc. And, and then impersonate. Uh, the attacker can also spoof the, the response from the, re the recipient and trick the requester to talk with the attacker like this, this image is showing. Thus attack, the attackers can abuse signaling protocol to conduct denial of service attacks. Hackers can intercept incoming and out outgoing calls, carry out DOS attacks, spoofing phone calls, and eavesdrop on sensitive conversation. Many of the countermeasures are keep uh, patches up to date on each network device involved with voice of IP, identify unidentified or rock telephony devices, install and maintain uh, firewalls, VPNs, and then disable unnecessary ports and services on routers, switches, and IP telephones. So I hope I covered the most important things in this uh, section. Thank you for listening and watching this presentation. I look forward to reading your feedback. Uh, this was a summary of Chapter 6 from page 657 to 694 of the CISSP Exam Guide 3rd Edition.